Loving greetings to you, my church family, on this Monday, April the 12th. First, I'd like to read to you a quote about prayer and then tell you a story. In honesty, you have to admit to a wise person that prayer is not for the wise, prayer is not for the prudent, nor for the sophisticated. Instead, prayer is for those who recognize that in the face of their deepest needs, all their wisdom is quite helpless. Prayer is for those who are willing to persist in doing something that is both childish and crucial. A nice thought. Now to a different matter. I'll tell you about Barney Guffey. That was his name. A novelist couldn't come up with a better name. Barney Guffey, a member of a church of mine some years ago, 25, well, really more like 30 years ago. Barney was an old man, and yet he found his church calling in his retirement years. Barney became the nursery worker. He loved children, and he would sit in a rocking chair, and children age birth to Three or four loved their nursery worker, Barney. Someone else helped him, but he was the center of that nursery. He was a wonderful man, a gentle soul. I believe there is a Barney Guffey in our church. I, in fact, I believe there are several, male or female. I believe that there are people, be it retirement years or in your much younger days, whatever the age, all the way down to college age, who might help us at this point in our nursery. We are in desperate need of persons within our church family to give a Sunday a month, to give half a Sunday a month, an hour or two on Sunday, to give even more as we attempt to return to worship and to Sunday school. Yesterday, April the 11th, wonderful first Sunday back with many people returning to Sunday school, we need and ask for you to consider whether you might take that story of Barney Guffey and whether God might be asking and encouraging you to give a moment, to give an hour, to give a day or more a month to helping in our nursery to take care of our children. Will you think about it and pray about it? Blessings to you.